What sort of clergyman will you be, Mr. Darwin? Dreadful. Dreadful. Why such beauty? Are you a free thinker like him? What if these finches were blown to the Galapagos from South America and then began to change, adapt, if you will, become more and more different from their ancestors generation after generation? God put those creatures there. That, that makes no sense. Congratulations. Divine law. God's will. We allow the planets and the sun to be governed by natural laws. But the smallest insect we wish to be created by a special act of God. Shouldn't men of science be free to investigate each and every means by which new species come into being? If by that you mean wild accusations about man's ancestry, the answer is no. To destroy man's unique status is to open the floodgates to anarchy. not revolve around the earth. Nature does not revolve around man. Keep your theory from Emma. We won't have street ruffians tout man's monkey origins in Her Majesty's museums. If I should die... Die? Charles, for goodness sake. Please, my love, it's important. Oh. Wake up, wake up, Anna's crying. All you can do is pray. The Lord gives, and the Lord takes away. God. The human brain is in itself proof of man's moral and religious faculties. Is your book ready for publication? How can I publish on Rumor? On the origin of species. Up to the clergy and an insult to humanity. It's only a man devoid of a soul could find solace in a bestial ancestry. Mr. Darwin claims lineal descendants of the same common ancestors. The man is one with the rest of the organic world. <laughs>